The following is a presentation of Rocky Mountain Pro Wrestling. And all matches are sanctioned by United Wrestling Network. Do not forget, wait a minute. That's a team of behind him, that's a champion. Uh-oh, he turns him around. Oh, and he's starting to battle at him. Here we go, the champion. A little preview of what you're gonna see at Supercharged 2. Completely going out of the outside. Here come the referees having to break it up. And I don't know if enough referees are gonna be here to break it up. Chad, can you believe what you're seeing, buddy? Yeah. Unbelievable. And here we go. The referees, again, not able to corral this in. This is just a preview of what you're going to be seeing in a no-holds-barred match. There's not going to be any referees. Nobody to hold these two back. They are going to absolutely be at each other's throats in two weeks at Supercharged. And here we go again. Pounding on top, and this has just gotten completely out of control. The locker room starting to empty out. KT Dub, Lipto, JK Pop, they are all out here and unable to break it up. They're zero cool. Chago now getting into the mix. Marlin now getting into the mix. Everybody trying to hold these two apart. And the hatred for one another has just completely boiled over. Ativo refuses to be picked on. And this is a side of him that we have yet to see. Is this going to be the Ativa that we see at Supercharged? Is this the Ativa that has enough to defeat Anaya? Rocky Mountain Pro Charged, and I mean, as we just saw there, I mean, you know, with Severino Corrente, he's calling out Austin Reddick. Right, that's a made a victory, Mike. When one partner eliminated, the whole team is eliminated. Introducing first, Willie Jackie Robinson and Dr. Trey E. O. E. And again, folks, we want to welcome you, ladies and gentlemen, to Rocky Mountain Pro Charge. Again, my name is Colin Sennard, alongside here, new face here, so you've seen him before. That is over easy, Stevie. Stevie, how we doing? I'm doing great. So excited to be back here at the commentary booth. It's been a while. And we have a lot of action coming right here. And as JK Pop enters the ring with EOE already in it, we are seeing a plethora of tag teams coming in here because it is the number one contenders battle royal. And here he comes, my man. Zero cool. Your bell is indeed, so I know you got yourselves a uh, a team you certainly have a rooting interest for, and that's... It's going to be hard to stay impartial, I'm not going to lie to you, college. Yeah, I mean, Marlon, how could you cheer against him at this point? Look at that Hulk of a man. Well, this is someone they definitely need to be weary of, and this is the newly formed Triumphant. They are the team of the Triumphant. That's right, all these, all these guys were dangerous in and of themselves, but now that they've formed this super group triumphant, they're personally unstoppable. Probably the toughest fan to eliminate in this entire tag team contest. Monster Next. Zero Filter and Shango, what an absolute hodgepodge of a tag team, but dangerous as well. This ring's filling up here quick, Over Easy. That's right. This is going to be chaos. And don't forget, the winning team will go on to face. The most awesomest tag team. I mean, you got to say, Mercury Yade and Curtis Cole. The most funnest tag team on the planet. The most funnest tag team on the planet, the most awesomest tag team, whatever you want to call them. They have 
so many different names, but we're <laughs> not done here. We still got more tag teams coming to the ring. I mean, if the ring's not already filled up enough as it is. And Kyle, look at this. More Rocky Mountain Pro debuts. Representing Kijua Attack Wrestling, Future Sight Jack Shatter and Piranha! Jack Shatter and Piranha, two people that are making their Rocky Mountain Pro debuts, but certainly and familiar with the Squared Circle. Oh, oh, these guys. And Sugar Free Mario Banger! And you don't want to sleep on these guys, Mario, Free, Mario Banger and Dustin Yurick either because they were in the semifinals for the tag team tournament. Could easily get right back in the picture with a win right here. And this is underway, and here we go. Chaos and Sue's under the ring. All sorts of action around here. It's hard to keep up with. They're gonna tear the ring apart. And here we go, I mean, you got, there's your team. There's Monster Zero filter in the corner. And here we go, we got just action everywhere, Stevie. And you mean Sugar Sleeves and Dustin Durick. And there's your boy, Zero Cool, getting choked down the ropes by Sugar Free Mario Vanger. And there's EOE stomping away on JK Pop. You want to talk about an old rivalry there? It's right, and Willie Jackie Robinson looking to eliminate Caden Koyama, comes up short on it. And there's the triumphant over there in the corner with Vlad Balashaw trying to take out the newcomer Marlin. This is something I'm sure he's never seen before either. And again, just so much action in the ring. It's complete chaos, I love it. Again, remember ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this battle royal are gonna be facing Yaden and Cole next week. That's right. And that was per GM Mop Boy. There's gonna be some sort of stipulation in that matchup as well, but they haven't been named yet because every single match next week will have a stipulation. Right, supercharged too. Can't wait. And oh! Again, as the action ensues. Triumphants, Marlon Wayans is Chongo down in the corner now. Good, Pariah hangs in there. And again, folks, you gotta go over the top rope. If you go through the ropes, you are not eliminated. And remember, both feet must touch the floor. If only one foot touches the floor, you are not eliminated. And here you see on the outside, we got Jumbo rooting on his crowd, and he's got his cookies with him, and his kid-sized small shirt. Again, I mean, we're about two or three minutes of this matchup, Stevie, and nobody has been eliminated. The big Fronto wishes he would have been hip to RP. And here we go, chops him in the corner. And it looks like sugar-free Mario Banger might have woken up a beast with Marlon. Marlon now going to work. Well, I tell you, I spent a lot of time up close and personal with Marlon. Oh, watch out, oh. Jack Shatter! Oh, he just hangs on. Jack Shatter barely, and he might have had one foot touch the floor there. And here we go, here's your boy, Zero. Zero. Cool. Hit it, hit it, Zero. Triumph and backs him over to the corner. Bad spot for Chongo Bronson right now as EOE te teaming up on trying to eliminate him. Oh, Dustin Merrick in a bad way up there too. Simone, the Duchess from down under on the outside as well. Oh my goodness, Filter. Just I mean, not, Filter just complete. I mean, you're absolutely right. That was right in front of us. Not taking Koyama out of his boots. Wow. Oh my God. And, and look at it. Wait a minute. They're back to back. Hey, the two it. biggest uh -oh. men in this matchup are standing uh -oh. back to back. I don't know if they even saw each other. They don't even know it. And another shoulder takedown. Wait a minute. Every, I think everybody's like aware of what's I, going on here. It's been a lot of time up close and personal with Marlon. And there's. You're, you're hard pressed to find a more intimidating presence. Look at this guy. Uh oh, wait a minute. Whoa. He's over the top rope. We finally have elimination. Ryan's on it. Jack Shatter are both eliminated by the monsters in the ring. Again, they, are not, the they are not teammates either. Uh oh. Now this just got interesting. This is what I've been waiting to see. This just got real interesting. These are the biggest men in the locker room, Rocky Mountain Pro. And everybody else is just letting them fight to so let them eliminate each other. That's Can smart. you blame them? Oh! <laughs> oh. Maybe you're taking this one, Stevie. Neither. I, I got to go with Marlon, my man, of course. I got to tell you, I think the experience has got to go to Monster Zero Filter, but. 
Well, you're absolutely right, but Marlon has so much forward momentum going right now. He's They're in what? such a role, and... They're letting him fight, Stevie. Whoa. Oh, and a double oh. clothesline. I felt our own seat shake on that I one. I almost fell on the chair. Oh, Lord. Uh-oh, and now both men down. The action continues again. About five minutes into this matchup, we have only had one team eliminated. That just goes to show how passionate these tag teams are about getting their hands. Oh, the oh, miss! The miss! He's completely blinded. Wait a minute. Uh oh. What is the red miss oh again? no, Ken Koyama oh. But wait a minute. So is That's Jackie it? Robinson. Yo, he's out of here. Uh oh. The palm strike. Not able to get Trey out. Oh, Trey the got team out, but. Of Johnny Casanova and Kaden Koyama have been. They have both been eliminated. Both no, teams. Have seen those teams been eliminated. <laughs> you want to talk about a rivalry that's boiled over. EOE and JK Pop are at each other's throats. Fighting all the way to the back, and what's Jumbo doesn't know what to do. Eat him, Jumbo. So again, My man we are now hanging in there. Look at that. Your team is out an opportunity here, Stevie. A big opportunity not only for you and your tag team. That's right, that's a message to the most funnest tag team on the planet. The new cool dudes are coming for you. And here we go, down to four. The final four are in the ring now. Crowd on their feet here. Sugar Free Mario oh. Banger. I mean, Sugar Free Mario Banger at one point was a champion, a Rocky Mountain Pro champion. You know that he has the skill and the talent to clear this entire ring. I don't know if he's got the skill or talent to clear that man. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Press. You were talking about strength! Oh, oh goodness. Oh. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Sugar Free Mario Banger and Dustin Yurk, we've seen make a great tag team. Off the ropes now. Go with a double clothesline. He busts right through it. Oh, goodness. Kick to the stomach to the... We better double team. Oh, it's not enough. Former member of the Atlanta Falcons, that double clothesline. Who eliminates both of them? What a huge upset! Unbelievable! Wait a minute! Filter! Oh, 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 no. so what did we just see? Wait a minute, wait a minute! Got the triumphant! The triumphant Natalie! Filter! Unbelievable! Marlon and Zero Cool, the new cool dudes, have been eliminated! And Simone with that bat, what's she doing in there? Get her out of there! You've got to be kidding me! Snap. Triumphant are the, the new number one contenders! Has been eliminated, That's and it? Your winners and new number one contenders! Triumphant, the new number one contenders for the Rocky Mountain Pro Tag Team Championships. Unbelievable, Stevie. I, you know, the way that all just went down was questionable. And I know you gotta be upset. Your right. team was there at the very end, and That's that was all. a meal ticket for the championships, but this newly formed tag team with a triumphant. Ever since forming with Severino Corrente has been their meal ticket to success here at Rocky Mountain Pro. They're oh. going to Supercharged 2 to face the champions. Jim, what are you doing out here in the cold? Simone, there's one lesson that you retain from me. Let it be this. Heavy lies the crown. I knew becoming the Rocky Mountain Pro Charge Champion would make me, make me a target. Nah, it's not even, target doesn't encompass it. All these usurpers, all these would-be champions in that locker room, they think they're predators. And it's not just myself that's dealing with this. Vlad Balashaw, Bruce Wayans, yourself. All those lockettes are gonna try to start putting you in your place, trying to knock you down the ladder. Are you gonna let that happen? Absolutely not. This, this is mine. I have worked too hard to attain this kingdom, to grab this kingdom and hold it in my grasp. And Austin Reddick tonight gets a chance to take this from me. And Austin Reddick is dangerous. Austin Reddick thinks he's... 
a big game hunter, a big time predator. And he thinks that I'm just some little tiny animal that'll roll over and show my belly and he can whip this all from me. But in that is my advantage. Austin Reddick doesn't realize that I am the king of charge. I am the king of the beast. I am the human embodiment of King Kong. And if I need to, to hold on to this, burn this kingdom to the ground, I will rule over the ashes. Here comes the young gun, Chandler Hopkins. Making his way right in front of us here and calls himself a cowboy from Amarillo, and Texas. And his opponent, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Curtis Cole. And here comes one half of the tag team champions. And former Rocky Mountain Pro Heavyweight Champion and one of the best well, individuals here at Rocky Mountain Pro, it's Curtis Cole. Also former Charge Champion, one of the most decorated superstars we've ever had here at Rocky Mountain Pro. Absolutely, Stevie, and you gotta think he's got his hands full with this Texas brawler here from Amarillo. He certainly does. We've seen Chandler Hopkins here before. Last time we saw him, he went one-on-one -on -one with our champ Atiba, took him to the absolute limit. This is gonna be an exciting matchup, Colin. And uh, you know, I think what the most exciting part about this is these two have very similar styles in the ring, Stevie. I mean, you look at the quickness, the agility, they do have the power, but they really get it done with the, uh, the high-flying action and, and quick te uh, technical abilities that they do have. That's right, but I would have to give the advantage here, the home team advantage to Curtis Cole. Again, all the championships he's held, and he is so good at playing mind games, and I think he's gonna frustrate the younger competitor, Chandler Hopkins. It's gonna be an entertaining one, folks. We're glad you're with us and joining in, and looks like Curtis Cole raking in on the arm now, and Chandler Hopkins with a reversal now. Really wrenching in that headlock there, Stevie, and you know, I, I gotta wonder at this point, you know, uh, is there a certain game plan he's coming in with? You know, is he, try, is he gonna be working on a body part in particular? Because you can already see Curtis Cole going after that left arm, left wrist. And I think this is where, this is where I give Curtis the advantage. He's so good at working the mind games, getting under the skin of his opponents. And I think that that's gonna give him the competitive edge here. And while Chandler Hopkins is well-traveled as a professional wrestler, yeah, Curtis Cole is on his home turf and obviously right. came with a game plan there for the left arm. But it looks like Chandler Hopkins being the veteran he is has a very, very athletic reversal there. Able to get out of it. A oh, hard oh, kick to the wow. back. There's a cowboy boots he's wearing there. I mean, good Lord. Is that even legal? I mean, he's got cowboy boots, a pair of jeans, and a belt buckle. It's a cowboy if I've ever seen one. Uh-oh. Cuts it off. Ooh, goodness. Oh, Curtis Cole right back, back up. up. Well, Brings him down, goes to the cover. Oh. Ooh, nice get up there by Chandler Hopkins. And wow. Brushes him right off. Chandler Hopkins playing some mind games. Ducks down, here we go. Flips out of it. And Chandler Hopkins now off the ropes. Ducked down by Curtis Cole, jumps over him. Chandler Hopkins dives back, back over. Forth. Here we go, misses with a rough kick. Oh, misses Whoa, with a spinning toe. Look at that. Unbelievable. And that, this is what these people paid to see right here. That was unbelievable, <laughs> Stevie. Wow. That was impressive. <laughs> Trying to get the referee to clap into this one. Everybody's on their feet. I'm impressed. Last time I saw Chandler Hawkins, it seemed, Hopkins, sorry, it seemed to me like he took himself a little bit too seriously. Now you see him having some fun, working the crowd. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, very true. And looking for that handshake here. I mean, this is uncharted territory. Uh, I wouldn't trust that. I would, hey. I would, don't do it, Curtis Cole. Oh, you're absolutely right. He went and got him. Oh, that Curtis coming. Cole, always the sportsman, but sometimes comes back to bite him. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, a little do -si -do, a do -si -do or something. <laughs> a little Let's square dance going on. Yeah, looks like uh, a little square dancing Ooh. turns into a little <laughs> offense for Curtis Cole. Curtis Cole got a little dizzy there. Oh! oh. Smart kick, and uh-oh. Nice catch there by Curtis. Oh, my God. He caught oh, the Curtis tag team champion on the... Chin. Got to be out on his feet, unconscious. Look at that. Oh. 
Curtis with a hard right strike there. Now they're both battling at each other on the apron. Curtis trying to gain a little bit of time. Look at that kick. Perfectly scouted, perfectly timed. Waiting absolutely no time now, Curtis. Curtis Cole, here he comes. A little diving set on the ropes and a little Vader Palm style off the rope for a two, but it's not going to be enough. Something we see very often here from one half of the tag champs. Curtis Cole now on the offense and going to work on Chandler Hopkins. So it was a great offensive flurry by Curtis Cole, but it's going to take a lot more than that to keep Chandler Hopkins down. Again, both men looking to somehow wear the other one down to be able to hit their finisher. Curtis Cole, we've all seen here with the blockbuster from the top rope, but the black powder that comes from Chandler Hopkins is a very notorious move of his, and you got to be worried that that could be hit at any time. And he goes right down. The for black the powder, nice, nice field research. Right. There. You're nice. a broadcast journalist. That's what I do best. <laughs> and wrenching down now on the left leg of Chandler Hopkins. And this is the exact same way that we saw Marty the Moth defeat Mop Boy earlier on in Ignition. But it's not going to oh. be enough. As and that was a tough loss. You know, you hate to see Mop Boy lose it that way. It was Absolutely. Hard five battle for him. I wanted to see him walk away with that goal. You know what I think might be uh, the, what interests me in this is, you know, it's only a week away until that tag team championship matchup. You think this is going to be wearing Curtis Cole down? I mean, is he going to be ready for that tag team championship matchup at Supercharged too? Well, yeah, I, that's an excellent point. He, he took on a lot stepping up and challenging Chandler Hawkins. you got to wonder what Mercury Aiden is thinking about that. And we saw Curtis Cole working on the left arm earlier of Chandler Hopkins. Now the roles are reversed a little bit. We have seen a lot of offense here from Chandler Hopkins onto Curtis Cole on that right arm. He's switching sorry, it up a little bit, going from yep. the uh, going from the uh, offensive high flying game to a little bit of a mad game here. Uh, drop toe hold now, a nice one from the back end, and for that single crab, he's got locked in. He's cinching that in deep, That's Stevie. It deep. Hopkins way far away from the ropes, trying to get there. Curtis looks like he's trying to gain a little balance. Think, oh. Get him out, and he did. Oh, he he's did. got to tap now. This he's got to tap now. Oh, I thought he almost did. Yeah. And here we go. Chandler Hopkins trying to use all of that strength. Trying to roll out oh, of it now. It. Ooh. Hard kick to the left. Uh, excuse me, the right arm. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, look at that innovative reversal there. What a scrapper Chandler Hopkins is. Nice way to gain some momentum. He's setting something up here. Curtis Cole not buying in. This is the zone clothesline. Oh. Puh. Same thing we saw early in with, oh. oh my goodness. And you said it at the offset of this bout. Both competitors so evenly matched. Stevie, this one's unbelievable. I'm making hardly keep up with the action here. I mean, these guys are so quick and so innovative with their offense. It's, it's just, y you wonder who's going to be able to get the upper hand here. You got to favor Curtis Cole being that he's on his home turf, but. Chandler Hopkins well, has gone into a lot of people's count territory. Count such a five, it might be a double count out. We might not have a winner. Curtis. Max up to seven. He might be right here, Stevie. Curtis trying to get to his feet now. Curtis is up. And that'll break the count. And I think he just Had burped right before he ran into the corner. <laughs> it's the most Curtis Cole thing I've ever seen. Yes, absolutely. Got the air out He's of the gonna, system. Oh. Speaking of letting the air out of your system. Hard chops across the chest. Uh-oh, watch out. He's setting up for it. Yeah. He got it. Look, he got it. He ran him right on top of it. He ran right into it. Is that going to do it? That's going to do Two. it. Two. No, oh, oh, my, my goodness. goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Took the words out of my mouth, Stevie. Kicked did... out of it. Unbelievable. How did Chandler Hawkins kick out of that? We've seen that move put down the best of the best. The last time I saw that move be kicked out was at Milestone with Tyler Stinson. I have not seen anybody else kick out of block, the blockbuster and Chandler Hopkins able to get that shoulder up. And now he's calling for it again. And this and most certainly would do it. Definitely doing the smart thing, not losing focus, not getting frustrated, but... Oh, no! Uh -oh. Oh. Nice agility there, rolls <laughs> out of it. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Black Powder! He got it! That's going to do it! One. Black Powder! Oh, no! 
Oh, oh my God. Unbelievable. The heart and resilience of Curtis Cole, one half of our tag team champions. Folks, if you're enjoying a matchup like this, I don't know what pro wrestling even watching because this is absolutely fantastic. And you're getting a This Is Awesome chant from our huge crowd here at the Corey. How fun is this, Stevie? And I couldn't agree more. This is absolutely awesome. Oh, I don't, whoa. Oh, Falcon Arrow. Wow, that was pretty. Suplex into a Falcon Arrow and, uh-oh. I don't even care who wins. I just want him to keep going. And here we go. The Cowboy Chandler Hopkins from Amarillo, Texas on the top rope. He is a high flyer. Oh, he got caught, though. Curtis Cole, the desperation wrap around the leg. Hanging on to that leg for all he's got. I don't blame him. And now Curtis drops him right on the jaw. Oh, here we oh. go. This is not going to end well. Oh. What goes up must come down and all. Oh, and he comes down hard. Chandler Hopkins wow. falls even on his back, but he's still on his feet. Funny enough. Uh oh, Lake Larry it misses. Uh oh, oh, a kick to the stomach. He's in it. He's, oh. he's, he's calling for it here. Uh oh. Oh, that. He's just laying on his leg. And there it is. Lake Larry connects. He connects. Curtis with the cover. The count. Not oh. enough. I thought he had him there. What's it going to take to keep Chandler Hopkins down? I mean, what's it going to take to keep either one of these men down? This is, quite frankly, one of the best matches I have ever seen on Charge TV. Again, I, I was all about the Curtis Cole coming into this match, but now I don't even care. Uh oh, this is for the kick. Keep going. Not good. Uh-oh, what's he doing for? He's going for a little bell lock, a cross face. Not a good place for Curtis Cole you to be. It? He is in the dead center of the ring. The legs are nowhere near the ropes. His arms are nowhere near the ropes. I, I, a I bad place. I can't see Chandler's grip. Does he have it locked in well, though? Looks like he's got it, but a oh, nice reversal oh, oh. for the pinfall. Nice way to get him to break it up. Smart by Curtis Cole. Oh. Standing drop kick into the stomach. With authority. And now continuing to work on the abdomen and the chest. I don't think, I don't think there's a certain body part that can be worn down at this point. I think everything has got to be worn down. Uh oh, Chandler yeah, Hopkins. Just hitting anything he can. Uh -oh. Oh, oh my, my. god. He's got to be knocked out. He's still, he's still standing on the top rope. I don't know how. I don't know how he's still up there, Stevie. I think it's the, the hair. It's holding his balance up there. Chandler Hopkins going up top. It's got to be whoever lands this high aerial risk move is going to be the one to walk away with it. Right now, the advantage goes to Chandler Hopkins. Cowboys got him on the top. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my down. goodness. Wait a minute. Oh. He's got the roll up. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Back and call forth. Adam. Uh oh, schoolboy roll up here. Two. Oh. oh, not enough to get him there either. Uh oh, nice roll up here by Curtis Cole. Two, not enough. And here we go, wraps him up into the ropes. Able to get that, that roll up. Two, not enough again. Like uh oh, have... wait a minute. Look at that cross body. Roll up. And a slow two count there. May have had him there if it wasn't for the slower the count. Oh shot. my God. Link shot that insecurity kick to the back of the head. That has got to do it. Good night. He got him. And the winner this bout be a pinfall. The young gun, Chandler Hopkins. Chandler Hopkins picking up the big win over Curtis Cole. I got to tell you, though. What wow. can you say about a match you, like that, Steve? Exactly. Unbelievable. <laughs> Watching wrestling more years than I care to admit on this broadcast, and that's the best I've seen anywhere, anytime. I don't think we have a true loser in this wow. matchup. And now Chandler Hopkins, as a sign of respect, I don't know if Curtis Cole wants it. And look at that. If you are a fan of pro wrestling, that is as good of a match as you're going to see here at Rocky Mountain Pro or in pro wrestling in general. The veteran in the matchup, the Texan himself, Austin Reddick, trying to claim the gold here, Stevie. Well, he might have a veteran's advantage, I'll give you that, but there's absolutely nothing going on in Rocky Mountain Pro right now like 
the roll, the triumph in his arm. So. And just a reminder to everybody, don't forget that the general manager, Mop Boy, is uh, kind of the one that put this all into place here. And now here is the champion, Severino Corrente. And what do you think of the decision by Mop Boy? For Supercharge 2, every match has some sort of stipulation. Yeah, very interesting. And Mop Boy is going to be coming on here uh, after this matchup. Um, and he's going to be talking about basically what's going to be coming up, what's going to be the stipulation uh, for Vlad and Bruce Wayne's now that they've offered to, earned an opportunity at the Tag Team Championship. So uh, a lot of stuff going on here after you want to make sure to stay tuned. But until then, the they got a championship matchup. He's here. Opportunity here for Austin Reddick. And your reigning and defending Charge Champion. Be accompanied to the ring by Savon Lockhart. From Rome, Italy, he is the Rocky Mountain Pro Charge Champion. Oh, is he cut uh. off? <laughs> This is Mitch McCoy's first time the, the job. You gotta get the name right. He's the king of charge, right? Severino Corrente, the self-proclaimed king of charged, and the leader of the triumphant, with a big, big title defense on the line here. And Austin Reddick, quite frankly, has got the upper hand. Austin Reddick, quite, quite frankly, take advantage by making Severino Corrente tap out to the Third Coast Cloverleaf when they finally had even numbers against the Triumphant. So right now it looks like we got even numbers, except the uh, dastardly Simone Lockhart on the outside here. Well, and I think it's one of those rare cases where I got to disagree with you a little bit, Colin, because uh, I don't see Austin Reddick having the advantage here. We talked about this a little bit beyond the pre-show here, but Austin Reddick's been wrestling now for almost close to 11 years now. And Severino Corrente has been in about, I want to say, 16, 17 months as a professional wrestler. Well, that may be, but he has single-handedly put together this super group called Triumphant, and they have been making shockwaves in a very short amount of time. And I just can't, I just don't see you being able to deny the momentum that Severino Corrente has going into this matchup. Absolutely, and you know, you gotta wonder, you know, is, is Severino Corrente coming into his prime and maybe Austin Reddick is leaving his prime? That could very well be the case. Severino Corrente in control now. And here we go, collar elbow tie up. Side headlock by Reddick. And head of steam. Oh, big shoulder tackle takedown. Absolutely. I mean, I think Severino Corrente may be uh, checking for his teeth on that one. And look at Austin Reddick taunting him now. Has him down in the corner just begging him. He's saying, come here, bring it on. The fiery Texan now brings it right back into the middle of the squared circle. And now trying to get out of this hold, and here he's able to do it now by wrenching down on the left arm. Uh-oh, rolls oh, up nice. Severino. Two, not enough. And, oh, Severino rolls out of the way. I mean, he oh, is. Take a little walk. He is rolling out of the way and really, really just frustrated right now because things are not going as planned. And it looks like the Duchess from down under, Simone Lockhart, trying to give some advice here on the outside while also getting in the ear of the referee. The referee senior referee, Dewey Larson, not having any of it. And to the chagrin of Severino, he will lose the championship on a count out. So Whoa. let's not forget that, folks. That, that, is, <laughs> that is a role here at Rocky Mountain Pro. If you get counted out, you will lose the championship. 
On most cases, that's why they probably made the rules for people like Severino Corrente. Well, that's right, and you know Severino Corrente has a long history of exploiting every advantage he could get. So I'm sure he would take the easy way out if he had that option. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Nice sw swinging neck breaker there, and he's got him for the cover. But a one only. You can just tell by the ring awareness here by Austin Reddick how much this means to him. But uh, Severino looks like he's getting a little frustrated here. This could be, could be his downfall. He's got to stay focused with a competitor like Austin Reddick. And Severino Corrente looking at the crowd here and wrenching down once again. Again, we want to revisit last week a little bit. Austin Reddick able to make Severino Corrente tap out with that third coast cloverleaf. You want to think he has the advantage, but oh! Whoa. Both thinking the same thing. Uh oh. Austin with a nice uppercut there. Again with that right uppercut. Third and time. Severino. Time. Severino showing no quit by getting up and feeding right back into him. And the ambidextrous Austin Reddick coming at him with a left now. And you gotta be impressed right now with the striking game of Austin Reddick. Oh, absolutely. Whoa! Huge back body drop. Just huge elevation there. And, and listen, as much as it pains me to say it, you, you cannot take away the ability of Severino Corrente. I mean, this guy has got some power. Absolutely, and I've said it many times, and people look at me kind of sideways when I do. In terms of core strength, you're hard pressed to find a stronger guy than Severino Corrente. He just showed it right there. I mean, he was holding up Austin Reddick dead weight before he gave that German suplex. Gives himself a nice pat on the back. Something he's very familiar with That's doing. Right. And a cocky pin, no way. Uh oh, wait a minute. That grabs the ankle. Not a smart move there. And he grabs the rope immediately. Takes out of the ring. Any, any weakness in the armor of Severino Corrente, it's in that cockiness. In this constant patting himself on the back and talking about how great he is and instead of staying focused on the task at hand. And you gotta wonder. If he gets in that precarious position again, where he gets locked in to that third coast cloverleaf, I mean, is that is that going to be it? Is that going to be enough to defeat the charge Whoop. champion? He's, you know, it's no longer just a fluke. Severino Corrente has now held on to that title for quite some time, not as long as we've had charge on Thursday nights. Here we go. The cover, the count. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what, a back body drop. It's going to show you once again the power Severino has to dig that far into a count. Yeah, it's, right. it's not every day you see someone do it, just a, a rudimentary move like that and nearly take away the win with it. Not at all. And Severino now. Looks like he might have got busted up in his mouth, drawing a little blood inside oh, there. He can probably taste his own blood. Most likely is firing him up now as he grabs a hold of that sleeper hold. Austin Reddick able to reverse it now with his own, his own sleeper hold now. Uh-oh, here we go. Reverses it again and do another sleeper hold. And also get everyone's going for a little merry-go-round here. Let's see if Severino's able to get it this time. He's fading. Uh-oh. Able to reverse it one more time. One more time. Again. <laughs> Somebody's going to fall asleep here. Oh, my God. Unbelievable action so far. Again, folks, the Charge Championship is on the line right now. Unbelievable. Senior official Dewey Lawson up to a three count. There's four. One of these guys got to get to their feet and quick. Austin Reddick looking to be the first one to get to his feet. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Severino makes it up. Goes for that charge. He misses in oh. a clothesline there. Another clothesline by Austin Reddick. Now you can start feeling the momentum shift here. Austin Reddick feels that championship around his waist. Oh, drops him down with an atomic drop. Here we go, spins around with the arm and, uh-oh. Got him on with a fisherman suplex. Got him cradled in. Oh. And not enough. The charge champion, Severino, mouth busted open. 
It is. He's in no man's lane. Uh oh. How good to see it. Texans got some strength there. He's going to spin him around. We've seen this before. I got to tell you, have. as much as that's going to pain, oh. Samuel Corrente in the crash landing. Usually follows that up with a knee. Uh oh. But oh, look at this. Is he going to be able to lock it in? Severino. He's in scrambling a scrambling to, to get the ropes. He did. Bad. He's very aware of how devastating that third coast clover leaf can be. Ooh. And pushes him off now as Severino, and he's finally buying himself some very valuable time on the outside. Simone trying to help buy that time as well. But Austin Reddick having none of it. Yeah. Goes right out, right out after him. Yeah, very true, Stevie. He is, oh my oh, God. A shot right in the ear. Oh my wow. goodness. I mean, he wound up with everything he had on that. Oh my God, you were talking about winding up. Because Austin Reddick's gonna be it's, hearing some bells for about a week. Yeah, it's getting intense now, folks. They're going right into the fans' front yard. Oh, right into the guardrail. Right that barrier. Folks, this is some, I mean, you would talk about technicians we saw earlier. This is just straight up brutal. These are some hard hitting fists right here. This is an all out brawl, Stevie. That's right, we've thrown the wrestling match out the window. Now it's just a fight. And that's it. Wait a minute. This match has ended in a double count out. And here comes the wrestling Wait a minute, wait a minute. We had a double count out. Look at this. Let's oh, another try out. Oh, wait a minute. Filter and Shango. Shango. Filter and Shango here on the outside. Oh. Unbelievable action spilled out. And here comes Mop Boy, the general manager. The GM's here. What in the world is going on here, Stevie? This is absolute right. carnage. Well, it looks like. That does not. Oh. All right. You guys will all come to down to clean up your act. At Supercharge 2, all is clean in love and war. The Charge Championship match will be Severino Corrente versus Austin Reddick. Well, how about that, Stevie? Yeah. Versus Filter. Oh, boy. You got to be kidding me. Versus Chungo Bronson. Oh, the odds are stacked oh, oh, oh. against the charge champion oh, now. That final boss, Mr. Bruce Wayans. It, oh, well, you want to hear the best part? The best part is that if you or Vlad interfere in the charge championship match, then you are no longer number one contender. Oh. Unbelievable announcement, Stevie! I hope you all have an excellent night, and thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One more thing. It's going to be Waterman! <laughs> oh my god, what a blockbuster announcement! Unbelievable! Severio Corrente, without triumphant by his side, is gonna have Austin fight Austin Reddick. Filter and Shago in a fatal four-way match in a ladder match for the Charge Championship at Supercharge 2, Stevie. Fatal four-way ladder match. I love it. Not only that, we're going to see Lipto and CJ Price field a two out of three falls match. The Triumphant has their hands full as well when they go for the tag team gold against Mercury, Yaden, and Curtis Cole. And that stipulation, we don't even know about that yet. And the main event next week, Anaya and Atiba square off for the Rocky Mountain Pro Championship and a no-holds-barred match. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not going to want to miss Supercharged right. 2 coming next week.